Hey guys, CatX2 here, and today we're gonna date a skeleton. Let's go date a skeleton! Wait, let, let's, let's take, a, take a snow tunnel. Yeah, good idea. There he is. There he is. He's all ready for our date! So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. My house. <laughs> this is my, my brother's house and pet chill. rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Mm -hmm. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Nice. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands, please pick up your sock. <laughs> okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Netflix it's and my chill. favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. <laughs> it's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book is another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> Good call. Who follows us? Pyrus wants to Netflix and chill. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. That's a trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. Thanks, I will. Why does that sink so up high? Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. <laughs> what? Catch that metal and gain I'm... Curses. <laughs> Sans, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. Let's go to his room. Aha, uh -huh. interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. <laughs> the other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Is this Sans' room? Mm-hmm. The door is locked. What the heck is coming out from underneath it? <laughs> Fire? Okay, he just says the same thing. Look in his room. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and <gasps> do whatever people do when they date. Oh. Go inside. Papyrus. Yes. Look at his room. It's <laughs> so cool. He's oh, got a race carpet. carpet. Look at all the action figures. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. You don't have skin. Or hair. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. <laughs> ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Santa. <laughs> The car is so cute! I know. Isn't that flag neato? Undine found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, heh, heh. 
That book's one of my favorites, Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites, Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. <laughs> there are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Nice. The internet. I'm quite popular there. Well, you're not wrong. <laughs> True. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follow follower count. <laughs> Isn't that like negative two followers, though? Wait, what did he say? He said he was a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. It's negative two followers. <laughs> of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Sand. It's sans. It's definitely sans. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Yes. Okay, dating start. Oh, Dating start. <laughs> Here we are, Here. on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Or H-U-D. Did I just say H? -H? Um, I don't know actually. How to... I'm getting distracted. Wowie, I feel so informed. What the heck does this mean? <laughs> it's Tuesday. Reel it in. Population. Egg. Time. <laughs> And some sort Look, of it's dog a radar, radar that shows where the dog is. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Mm -hmm. Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. <laughs> really? <laughs> Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing! No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! Oh. No, no! Your dating power! No! Nyeh! Nyeh! Heh heh! Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! <laughs> what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. You want to move and inspect? Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. <laughs> no, I must resist. My hat? My hat. My hat! Well, well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. 
do you know what this is? Spaghetti. Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right? But oh so wrong. This ain't any old... This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cast. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Refuse or eat it? Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. <laughs> you must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah. Urgh. No. Oh. Human. It's clear now. You're madly in love with me. <laughs> everything you do. Everything you say. It's all been for my sake. Human. I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I... Um... Boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? <laughs> oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Oh. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. Oh my gosh, his eyes. <laughs> A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. <laughs> and hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Nyehehehehe. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> well. That was fun. That was our skeleton date. Yay! Skeleton date! That was really cute. I know, right? Oh, I love it. Okay. It's a race car bed, neatly made. Action figures of many sexy robots. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beat up pirate flag. The bookshelf is filled with complex tones about tomes about puzzle creation and children's books. No, I already did this. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. All right. It's a box of bones. That was fun. I wonder if we can go in Sans from. Probably not. Yeah. It was locked before. And I don't know what's going on in there. I really want to know, though. Hmm. Well, I think that's it. Yeah. That We've done was this fun. episode. Got friend zoned by a skeleton. Yeah. I think I'm okay with that. He's not really my type, and anyway. he's he's a good friend though. So yeah, I mean I mean that like both personality-wise and skeleton. also because he's a skeleton. <laughs> and you know, you're not into skeletons. Um, well, as, as a human, not really. Someday when I die and like <laughs> all all of my flesh is gone and I too am a skeleton, then maybe things can work out between us, but not not yet. Anyway, um, that's it for our fun skeleton date. I guess so. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. See you next time. Cat X2 out. <laughs>